Hello everyone, I just want to share my experience uh, when you troubleshoot Exchange Server Database Mount issue. You may met uh, some issue like this when you try to mount a database, it, you get error like this. The first option that comes in your mind is to fix this issue with ESE Util. It's a time consuming option actually, but that's a free option you can try with that so for that what you have to do is you have to navigate to exchange installation folder and uh, uh, check the status of your database with this command this will let you know that whether it is a, a clean shutdown or a dirty shutdown something like that here the state of this database is a dirty shutdown then we're gonna check the health of the logs for that you run the command as I displayed. Then you see some log files are damaged. But still the database is not able to mount. So the other option I have is to go for a soft recovery with ESUtil. Let's see for that. For that enter the commands uh, ESUtil then slash r then your log file and database location. You can see the performing soft recovery status. It seems completed with the successful status. Let's go and try to mount. Still, it's not able to mount. So I'm going to try the final option in ESUtil that is hard recovery. For that, uh, enter ESUtil command as uh, shown in this in the screen. You can expect some kind of uh, data loss when you try with the hard recovery and it's a very time consuming job. It may take like hours to finish uh, for 100 GB, 200 GB uh, databases and it didn't assure you uh, uh, recovery also. and it didn't assure you uh, recovery 100%. And now the hard recovery has completed. Let's go and try uh, to mount this database again. We have the same result. Assume if you are in front of the client or uh, you are working on a production environment and uh, waiting uh, for a long time and getting a result like this gonna uh, impact uh, the service or uh, the trust level uh, that the company put on you. An alternative solution for this mount database error is mandatory. Uh, so I was looking for many tools uh, like uh, for exchange recovery. Uh, I don't want to invest it just uh, for the recovery. I want to benefit uh, other things also. So I just go through many products and I found Stellar brings uh, more value to the money what we're going to invest uh, for this product. So it can quickly repair a large GDB file. That is one of the biggest benefit. I see really the performance is very good. And also, this is very important actually, you can uh, export completely to live exchange server and Office 365. Because if you go for Office 365 migrations, uh, you're going to pay high amount and per user, per license like that. But Stellar, uh, it's just one time payment and you're going to benefit uh, even for Office 365 migration also. And you're going to see the calendars, you're going to see, explore all the data and you can recover uh, mailboxes by PDF or by PST or HTML and it also work with all the versions of an exchange server. So these are the reasons actually uh, really I prefer to go with the seller repair for exchange. I will just show you how to execute this is it's quite easy actually uh, you just need to uh, follow the wizard and uh, show the EDB file and the rest all things are very really easy to do. So let's see how to do that. Once you download stellar repair setup just go for the installation. And uh, you can see there are some prerequisites uh, required for installation like Outlook and uh, IAS, something like that, that you will find in the product information page and it's uh, uh, quite easy to install in your environment. Once you open the application, the first step is to point out your EDB file. I'm going to try with a 100 GB file and I'm going to go for a quick scan and you see how fast it's going to happen. You see how fast it's going to scan and list out all the users in that database. I have more than 100 users in this database and it's list out quickly. 
let's go through some of the recovery options. The first one I'm going to try is to recover it to a PSG. That's quite simple. You just need to right click, uh, uh, save as PSG, then show the destination path. Then let's just initiate and complete uh, uh, the process very easily. So this is the one step that you can try. The second one we're going to try is uh, exchange server recovery. Let's see that. To export to exchange you just need to right click the user and click export to exchange server so and the effort wise there is no difference actually whether you export it as a PSD or an exchange uh, server or to office 365 so it's recovering to exchange server and you can see the progress here it's quite fast actually when you compare with uh, the other methods the other option we have is export to office 365 the only input that you need to give here is mailbox username and password then click ok then it's gonna recover the entire emails to 365 you can see the progress uh, from here so we saw some of the features but the most important thing here is to mount the database, the corrupted database that we have been working. Good, great, it seems mounted, this is what I need. One important function that I loved in this uh, product is, uh, you can, like you browse your Outlook, you can simply click and uh, restore your content. This is difficult actually to get in uh, doing it from the same console everything. So uh, this is also an add-on uh, to, uh, to your tool that helps you to uh, recover things fastly and the visibility helps you to recover uh, item by item also. So that is all. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe our YouTube channel.